In this video, we're going to be having a look at an equation involving the modulus sign, but one in which the squaring method isn't necessarily the best one to use. So here's the question here. Solve the equation modulus of 3x plus 4a equals 5a, where a is a positive constant. Well, first of all, let's try and use the squaring method. Let's try and see why it isn't the best method. So there's the question. So let's square both sides to get 3x plus 4a squared equals and 5a squared. 5a times 5a is 25a squared. Okay, multiplying out the brackets, we get 9x squared plus 12ax plus another 12ax plus 16a squared equals 25a squared. Then simplifying, 9x squared plus 24ax minus 9a squared equals 0. So at this point what we normally do is just pop it in our calculator which would apply the quadratic formula and get us the solutions. But we can't do that because of this letter A. We can't put the letter A into our calculator. So we're left doing the quadratic formula longhand which is actually quite difficult. There's actually a better method for doing this. So let's try again, but use a different method, which I'm going to call the plus or minus method. So the modulus of 3x plus 4a is equal to 5a. So what the modulus sign does, for the purposes of this type of question, it takes whatever's in the modulus sign and makes it positive. So we don't know whether what was in there was positive or negative before we started. So let's solve for both 3x plus 4a plus or minus, that's taking both the positive and the negative case, equals 5a. So let's take the positive case first of all. So 3x plus 4a equals 5a. Taking that along to the other side, we get 3x equals a. And that means that x equals a over 3 or a third a. Let's try the negative case now. So that, if that's negative, that gives us negative 3x minus 4a equals 5a. Taking the 4a over the other side, negative 3x equals 9a. And that means that x equals, so 9 divided by minus 3 is minus 3a. So there's our two answers much easier than using the quadratic formula with an extra variable. For more videos like this and other resources please go to alevelmathsrevision.com